Hey there, welcome back. Tonight is the grand finale of Season 5's Paranormal Investigations, and trust me, it's one that you won't want to miss. We have over an hour-long investigation tonight of some of the creepiest, unexplainable encounters that will make your skin crawl. Be sure to stick around until the very end of this video for a special message along with some insight on what's coming up between now and Season 6. I know you came here for the scary stuff, so without further ado, here it is. Grab your popcorn, turn out the lights, and enjoy today's episode as you go side by side with us on another horrifying haunted location. I keep seeing it upstairs. I don't know, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I know you heard that. said that you were depressed and sad earlier? Yes. Were you disturbed during our sweep through of the house? Did you not like us being in here taking pictures? Yeah, let's see what's on the mantle. Yeah. It was a dark and stormy night in New Orleans, Louisiana as we sat in a rental car outside of a haunted plantation. We decided to live stream this night from the car to say hello to our viewers before entering the home. We just pulled up to a location outside of New Orleans where we're going to be for the evening. I keep seeing shit upstairs. I don't know, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Yeah, it's probably just a fucking adrenaline, honestly. We had no idea what was in store for us. This plantation has been claimed for a very long time to be haunted. Many people now rent it out for weddings and parties, but many of the guests leave with strange stories to tell. People claim to hear phantom voices, knocks, footsteps, and even being touched by something that cannot be seen after dark. Tonight, Colton and I will be staying until sunup to see if we can capture any experiences of our own. Some of the things that happened during our stay here will leave you shaken. See if we get a lightning for them. Be sure they can hear a little bit of that. Over the years, we've kind of just grown accustomed to whatever powers that be delivering us the most optimal conditions. And I'm telling you, like, we even talk about it sometimes. We're like, what are the chances that we show up and the atmosphere gets supercharged with the lightning storm that's centralized above the location that we're going to investigate? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside this house and we're gonna snap a Polaroid in every room and then we're gonna leave the photos to develop on the kitchen table and see if we get anything strange inside this house. It smells weird in here. It's just me or does that have that old like it smells like dusty like mildew. Look at this room. <coughs> oh, 
Well, you know what? Here, let's pop the first one. Listen to that thunder, bro. Could we have asked for a better night? So we found that it does kind of help when we take Polaroids at different locations. They print really quickly, they develop really quickly, and for some reason we've been able to capture these strange anomalies in these photographs. And it's really cool when you see it printed out right at the time and you capture something strange. So we wanted to make sure that we went around the entire location and photographed as much as we could during our initial walkthrough. Hello, hello, what was that? That's not great. What'd you hear? <laughs> like a knocking or something? I heard that. You hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. I heard that. You hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. We did our initial sweep. I kept hearing knocks and bangs and ticks. And in the early parts of the investigation, I try not to like let my mind wander and say, oh, that was a footstep or that was a door slamming or that was whatever. I don't really try to, I don't really try to define what's happening until I've experienced it for longer than just a few moments right walking through the door. What was that? Hello? Here you go. I'm gonna go upstairs. You wanna follow me up? Yeah. You wanna follow me up? Yeah. You wanna follow me up? Yeah. I'm hearing big time knocking up here, man. Yeah, that's definitely not right. Dude, there's a lot of stairs. Be careful. Whoa, you hear that thunder? Yeah. That fucking shook the house, bro. What's that fucking... Whoa. What's up? I just heard it again. Hello, if there's anybody here that would like to communicate with us. We're not here to harm you. You putting them all in your vest? Yeah. Cool. We'll lay them out on the table downstairs in a minute. How many, we got three left. Dude, it's ice cold in this bathroom, bro. Bro, it is cold in here.
You feel that? Like walk in here? Doesn't it feel like noticeably yeah, like right here. cold right here? Uh, oh wait. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Hello. Oh, bro. Is there anybody here? The floor makes a lot of noise in this place. Another weird doll up here too. Hold on, let me try to get this floor on. Huh. If you were just making a noise up here, could you please do it again? Let us know that you're here. Our last photo. You want to go put them on the table downstairs? Take a Just look. Let them develop for a second. Yeah, let's go lay these on the table real okay, quick. Yeah. Lights not working now. What was that? Sound like something just literally like stepped in there. Well, what the fuck is a power out? Could be. Well, there's emergency like lights and shit. I'm hearing fucking something all over this place, dude. Let's see. We got lights in here? Or are we just gonna have to use a flashlight here? Lay them out. Let's see what we got. Just right here. Let's like put them all in like a, a grid so we can check them out. Let's see? Which one is that? Okay, that's one of the bedrooms. Bro, is there a crow in that room? What? Look, that right there, is that a crow? What the fuck is that? Maybe something on the mantle? Hang on, let me look at this closer. We gotta go see what's on the mantle in there. No. Oh. Hello? Hello? Is there somebody there? At one point in time, we heard footsteps and creaks coming from upstairs. We had already checked the upstairs. There was nobody there. Hang on, let me look at this closer. We gotta go see what's on the mantle in there. No. Hello? Hello? Is there somebody there? That was 100% audible. I was rolling this whole time. There's someone. Hello? There's somebody here. Can you show yourself? There was something up there making noise and it was freaking us the hell out.
What's that? That looks like a... Look, they're in all of them. Are they? See these little wisps? Oh, yeah. Look, this corner right here, this edge, wisps. There's a little wisp in this there. This one right here is like the most... Is that this room right over here? Is that this downstairs one? Or was that upstairs? There was just like a white dot. It was almost like a floating orb in one of the rooms. My first thought was, is that something in the room? Like, is that like a lampshade or something? Because the Polaroids were kind of dark and hard to see. I think this was the upstairs room. Was that it? We should go check that room. In front of the bed. It's not this room. Dude, that is clear as day. It's like a fucking orb or something. Yeah, it is an orb. But those small little, like, look. One more time for you, Buck. Like, in every one of these pictures, there's at least one. This edge right here. This one's got it across the bed. Like, look at it. It's long, too. It goes, shh. I don't know what that is. The yellow shit? Yeah. That one looks all right, I guess. Pretty clear. Nothing in the bathroom, it looks like. No. Weird. We'll get the EMFs out, do another sweep with EMFs. Okay. Is there anybody in this room that would like to communicate with us? Now's your chance. You can come closer to that device. You don't have to be afraid. You can also... Use this device on my chest to select words from a library to communicate to us. Has it said anything since you turned it on? The first word that came out was theater. If it says something, just make sure you put it in front of your camera. Okay. So they can see it. Oh. What does it say? Disturb. Disturbed. During during what? Disturbed during what? Oh, oh shit. I was just getting a big spike. Is it right? When the EMF picks up a reading, it's picking up an energy that's close by. And I remember I was coming out of a room, I was talking to Colton, and it lit up in my hand, but my my handheld camera barely got it. I tried to I tried to lift up the EMF detector so that I could like capture it going off. Colton and I decided a while ago that moving forward, we would always use our body cameras as backups just to make sure that we don't miss anything if our handhelds are not recording. And this time it happened to come in extremely handy. My body camera captured the full EMF spike that I didn't capture on my handheld. Yeah, I was just getting a fucking a orange spike. I don't know if I got it on camera. Disturbed during what? What were you disturbed during? Now it doesn't want to talk, huh? Oh no. So disturbed during what? Use this device. You, you're doing a good job. Were you disturbed during our sweep through of the house? Did you not like us being in here taking pictures? Is it because we took photos of you? Where's the room that had that orb in it with the with the red blanket? Why is that door closed? I don't know. This was open, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the bathroom. It's cold still in here. It's hard to breathe in here. It feels funny in here, yeah. Where is... We need to find the red blanket room. Was it this? Let's see. I think this was it, and the orb was like right there. Is this the room that you like to hang out in? We heard a lot of 
ticks and knocks coming from up here. They got old African paintings. I just heard a noise, sounded like someone was moving this plant. Oh. Look. I just got yellow right here. This plant's making noise, bro. You don't hear it? No. Come stick your ear next to it. It's like ticking and shit. Watch. Stay there for a second. Whoa. Like someone's moving the branches, right? Yeah. Something living in there? I don't know. Something's bugging it. Something's disturbing it. Fucking rat or something, probably. You're doing a good job. If you can, can you make that light go off again? Or you got anything else to say besides disturb during? Disturbed during what? Yeah, can you finish that sentence for us? There's someone here that would like to communicate with us. Can you please come close to this device? Oh shit! Hey. Oh, it just was hot, like hard. Look, look, look. We cut the light. That's great. Why don't you put the Oculus down? Yeah. Or. Just oh look, disturbed during or, or what? It said or as soon as you dropped it. Ravine. 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 Like a. A drop off in the landscape. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense with the well, sentence. Well, there's property is right along a ravine. But disturbed during or ravine doesn't make a lot of you sense. You heard that? What? You know, I know you fucking heard that. No. Because of all the noises we're hearing and the activity we're having on our devices, plus what we captured on the Polaroid, obviously I was a little bit on edge and a little bit nervous, but there was a good hour to two hours where I thought I was going crazy. I kept hearing things that Casey wasn't. But disturbed during or ravine doesn't make a lot of sense. You heard that? What? You know, I know you fucking heard that. No. What'd you hear? Dude, like a slam. Like, almost like a... What's that saying? The obelisk was saying really melancholy s things like sad and depressed, but almost instantly that we hear a bang that jolts us, it's coming from downstairs, the obelisk kicks out the word metal. What'd you hear? Dude, like a slam. Like, almost like a... What's that saying? Sad. Sad? Depressed. Depressed. What the fuck? It's saying... Lasting. Lasting. It's going nuts now. To run. Wrong. Justice. Raised. Need. Haze. Holy shit. What the fuck? What just crashed? Dude, it sounded like... Addiction. List. It sounded like something Chills. I felt like a picture frame fell off the wall. Chills. Chills. It said sad, depressed, last thing. Like, it was going on. I missed the first word, too. Hold on. Is it in here? Dude, it is bright up here. Without any lights, too. That was crazy. Keep talking. I know you heard that. I 100% heard that. Hello? And that thing stopped. It's almost like it was it's here. It's not even giving me a blip. It's like it was here and then didn't need this. It's like it was here and then it left. Now it's down there. Oh, 
Lolo. What the fuck was that crash? I heard the second one. I didn't hear that for. Oh, look, bro. What? Look. There's a chair no. on the floor in there. We go downstairs and we see that a chair made of wrought iron has fallen over, which is probably the source of the noise that we heard. Why? Disturbed. What else does it say? Disturbed, sad, Chill, depressed. Sad, depressed, list. Are you sad? Are you depressed? Are we disturbing you that we're here? No. This That's is, a heavy ass chair too. This is what you heard. Oh yeah, this has got weight to it, bro. Now chairs and tables and large furniture does not move on its own. It was either pushed, it was tipped over. Something really, really strong, a really strong energy had something to do with manipulating the movement of that chair to cause it to fall. We should do a yes, no. We also have that new one. Yeah, we got the new device. It's got like a digital Ouija board in it, or I don't know how it works fully yet, but we could try it. Okay. It's our first time using it, but. If we hear another thing in here though, mm -hmm. I'm like break out something, SLS cam, something. Oh yeah, let's do an SLS cam real quick. Got you on the SLS, so the SLS is working properly. Was put you, put your arms out. Yeah, that thing is grabbing you good. It tracks the outlines of people and it basically draws a stick figure over a human body. The reason that people use SLS devices on ghost investigations is because they say that cameras could see things that your eyes cannot. And if the SLS detects something moving that's not there, it makes you kind of question, is there something in front of you that maybe you can't see yourself. Whoa, 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 what was that there? What? I don't know, grab the skeleton over here for a second. It does have its flaws, it's not perfect. I've seen it grab onto all sorts of things. It's grabbed onto lamps or coats on hangers. It is a bit finicky, but the thing that really spikes Colton and I's attention is when it draws a figure in a long hallway where there's nothing there or in an empty room where there's nothing it can grab onto. Oh, look, 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 look. What? Front door. What? Look. Wait, it's whoa, dancing, you it's see it? Moving. Look. It's like it's standing in front of the door. Oh, it's walking closer, bro. No, it's not. It's getting bigger, look. I'm trying to get this on my body cam. Can you get it on your camera? Yeah. Hold look, on. it was far as f a second ago. What the f Look, 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 look. See, it's like moving its legs, bro. It's 
Something's standing in this hallway. I, I think it's standing out front of the door. No, that's in the hallway, I think. It's a lot closer than the door. And now it stopped. Look, can you see my screen? Yeah. Complete darkness now. As I got closer to it, it seemed to just vanish. It disappeared and it wouldn't show up again. I'm curious to look up the stairs. We haven't even been up there with the SLS. Yeah, see, like it's grabbing onto this little shit right here. Uh -huh. That's because there's vines and stuff that it well, could. Because it has a bunch of different limbs, like, yeah, like strings and shit. Yeah. But there's no reason for it to grab a bed or an empty hallway. Oh, hey, 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 what? hey. Right in front of me. right there in front of us. Can you come closer to us? We're not here to harm you. Can you walk towards us? But the one that was standing in the hallway upstairs really, really creeped me out because I was asking it, can you please come closer to us? We're not here to harm you. And you could literally see the feet of the stick figure moving back and forth. It was like taking steps towards us and then it was backing up. Dude, no bullshit. Every time we come up here, feel my heart right now. Oh, mine too, bro. But look, get, get, are you getting I this got you, yeah. Can you walk closer towards us right now? Do you see its feet moving? Look, it backed up. Yeah. It backed up. Come closer. It's okay. We're not here to harm you. It's like, yeah. It, that's five feet closer than it was. Yeah. It's like it's approaching us right now. Here, can you hold this while you hold the camera? Yeah. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to touch it. Here, yeah, right there, you got it? Yeah. Dude, you're, you're, you guys are blending into each other. As I approached it, I didn't really feel any like cold air. I didn't really feel any like hair standing or any kind of electricity or anything like that. But the minute that I got close to it, Colton said to me, it's kind of merging with your stick figure. And then we were both caught off guard by this strange sound coming from downstairs. So hey guys, if you're enjoying today's video, now would be the perfect time for you to hit that like button down below, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next upload when we drop it. And let's get this video to 50,000 likes so we can move on to the next episode. Much love. Dude, you're, you're, you guys are blending into each other. What the f is going on? What is that? What the f is that? I have no idea. Let me see. We're both startled by this sound that resembles music coming from downstairs. It's why we froze for a second. I looked at him thinking that I was hallucinating, and then he looked at me the same way, and we both kind of realized there's no way that we're both hearing this and this isn't happening. There's something down here making a f weird, rhythmic, tapping noise. drums right there. Dude. Look no. at this. What's that doing? So we gingerly creep downstairs to find this old Hammond organ. Like the beginning of like electronic instruments had switched on and somehow was playing like this tapping samba beat. I can't believe that even works. Push it.
No. Did you turn a light on in that room over there? No. That back room? Not at all. There's a light on. Shut up. Yeah. That AC wasn't on either, was it? Like everything- I, I do not remember. Not a damn thing was on. Everything just turned on down here on its own. Was the power out with the, with the storm and then it just turned on right now? Couldn't be, no. Cause there there was other like oh, lights. Oh, well plus- Yeah, the lights. The floodlights that are connected to the power line. Let's get the yes, no prism. Yeah, let's, let's get see if we can get. Let's man. see if we can get some answers on that. We've got a lot of fucking activity. So happening. obviously we're doing it like right here, right? Yeah, I'd say we do it right here, even by that piano. Up. Are you fucking kidding? No me? way. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I got goosebumps all over right now. It's back on. Hold on, let me look at it. Dude, no, this switch right here is back on. Is that the only thing? Yeah, I Is just, I, I, I just, off? I just turned it off. Where let's, are we doing Let's get shoot? the yes, no. Let's get the yes, no. Let's do it here or in the kitchen or in the hallway. There's let's a lot do it of right here. All right. All right. Are you the one that said that you were depressed and sad earlier? Yes. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. Is there anything we can do to help you with that? Is there a message you'd like to get out? doing a lot of things around the house. We've heard noises, we've heard footsteps, we've seen you on the SLS camera. Are you the one that turned on this piano right here? You can move things, you can, you obviously are pretty intelligent, you know, how to operate this device here. Are you gonna continue to communicate with us? Well, thank you. Maybe we stepped right off on the wrong foot. This is Casey. I'm Colton. We're not here. That scared the fuck out of me, bro. What time is it? Once we got a couple of answers on the yes, no prism, the silence was interrupted by a phone ringing. No. Do you think maybe that's the owners? Why would they be calling this late? Now, I know a lot of people who are watching this would think to themselves, well, so what? Like someone was calling the house phone. That's not that big of a deal. But it was it was pretty late at night. It was like one something in the morning, if I remember correctly. I didn't know if maybe it was the owners. Me and Colton had our phones on airplane mode while we were filming. I don't know why the owners would be calling. Maybe there was an emergency. Maybe they wanted to see if everything was okay with us. But I kind of chalked it up to that. I was like, okay, this is the owners calling. Dude, it's one in the morning right now. Hello? Hello? There's nobody. Did they hear anything? No, they just hung up. There was nothing. 
like complete silence. There was just silence on the phone. Nobody said anything. And then I heard a click like someone hung up the phone. I remember talking to Colton and saying, well, if it was the owners calling, like, why would they just hang up? Why wouldn't they say something? Well, why wouldn't they just call your cell phone? I don't know. Well, I am on airplane mode oh. while we're filming, so I don't know. That's if weird. It you? Well, if it was an emergency, it would have said something, right? I don't know. Maybe they don't have service and maybe they're breaking up. I don't know. I use the landline for shit. It's weird though, right? Like, yeah. Why I call? So. Like, why? I mean, obviously they know we're here tonight, but like, why call at one in the morning though? I'm, I'm guessing it was them. I don't know. But this is where things get really weird. What was the last thing that we asked? The last thing that you, we asked for: Are you going to continue to communicate with us? Was that you that just uh, made the phone ring? We couldn't hear anybody talking. If that was you, can. Yes. He says yes. Can you do it again, please? And maybe this time you could say something? I think that it's honestly just messing with us, man. Like it's, I mean, it startled me, but I've not felt like any, like, I mean, I was a little anxious upstairs, but it could be completely two completely different things. Yeah. What are the chances that whatever's down here try to bring us downstairs, cause... It's doing it again, bro. Dude. We just said yes. I asked the yes, no prism, did you just make the phone ring? If that was you, can you do it again? And the prism lit up green, and like clockwork, the phone started ringing again. Yeah, but no, no. it just said that it made the Did phone ring. No, bro, hey. Hello? What? Obviously, I can't hear what's going on over the phone, but when he looked at me in the face he made, and I saw his arm hair stand up like a threatened porcupine, I knew that something fucked up was going on. Hello? What? Hello? Bro, what is that? Listen. Hello? What the fuck was that? I don't know, dude. It was just these long, deep, quivering breaths, and, um... I don't know, it just, it felt weird. Wow. Hello? Bro, what is that? Listen. Hello? Man. What the fuck was that? I don't know, dude. Try Star 69. I'm unplugging the, I'm, I'm gonna unplug Here, the line. let me try to call it back real quick. Nothing. Fucking hang it up. Dude, that made my Dude, heart. Dude, I wanna go outside. That made my heart skip it. You're with you, man. It just didn't sound normal to me. Like, it sounded kind of demented. Hey, the yes no prism saying yes right now. Yes, go outside? I don't know. It's on green. Why do you want us to go outside? I'm not. I don't know if it's like just anxiety or I'm panicking right now for no reason, but that's fucking fucked, dude. No, I know. That's never happened to us. Yeah, no, my ever. heart my heart is going take that. my heart is going fast right now, bro. Uh we're both starting to feel a little bit 
freaked out at this point. Do you have any intentions of harming us? What do we do? Let me try. All I was hearing was this frantic breathing, frantic breathing. And it sounds like something out of a fucking horror movie. I'm telling you that in that moment, it's the most startling thing you can experience. Hang it up, dude. I think someone's playing fucking prank on us or something. Yeah, unplug that shit, dude. Just unplug it from the face. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, let's take a break. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying by any means that that was the dead calling us from the other side. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is there are certain things in the paranormal investigation world that are too coincidental to be a coincidence, if that makes sense. They're just too spot on. The timing is too right. And for us to ask the prism, was that you calling? Can you do it again? And then it lights up green, the phone rings, and then we hear this really creepy breathing on the other end of the phone. I would like to think that it was somebody playing a prank on us. But at the time, our nerves were already shot. We were already capturing a lot of weird evidence in this place. And then just that on top of things. We're only human. Something like that happens, we absolutely had to stop for a second and go take a breath of fresh air. Still a little on edge. Um, so let's let's show some of the new stuff that we got so that the viewers can see what's up. On this investigation, we set up a bunch of our newest devices, some of which were our first time experimenting with, others. Uh, we tried it in a few recent investigations, but we wanted to explain what exactly they were and what they did while we were filming, just in case anyone who was watching didn't know what these devices are. Well, these are uh, well known among the paranormal community, REM pods. We should have had those a long time ago, but we just didn't for whatever reason. Honestly, man, it's just like a preference and how things use. I mean, if you want to have every single thing, that's completely fine, but for real, like, let me ask everyone what a REM pod is or a K2 yeah, yeah. meter is. And even well, then, these are good though. These are Yeah, no, these, these are, are the best of the best. Yeah. These are the ones. Yeah. Know? But, and it's great. It's going to show that there is something that's interfering with the activity, but it's also been shown that handfuls of other sorts of energy can make it happen so yeah, yeah. you know these so are we got these these are just locational you put those somewhere they're like uh static you leave them there something comes by to light up and then this we're not even sure exactly how this thing works yet it's brand new but uh it's got a bunch of different settings on it so we have um so this light right here apparently is what uh this one's the emf mm -hmm. Sensitivity on the left side. And this is the temperature reader. I say we walk around with the temperature reader because at least that I understand, you know? Okay. So well, let's set these things up and. Yeah, yeah, let's. Uh, oh, also, one more thing I didn't show yet. And then we have these. Whoops. These are uh, motion detectors. These are cheap. They're like $20. Pretty funny, actually. Fucking. Manufactured uh, China. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, now it's on. I'm it out. That's what happens if you walk in front of this. Shadow my tai tong. Shadow my tai tong. But anyway, motion detector. So let's turn it this way. And now it shouldn't make any noises because there's nothing passing it. But go ahead and try to walk past that stairwell call. Let's see. Yeah, great. So as long as anything disrupts that motion right there, it's going to make a sound. 
which is very useful for us, yeah. you know? So what we'll do, let's set these up and then we'll go grab the statics. Yeah, yeah, we'll put statics around. Oh, what is that there? I just had a, a really low spike. Did you hear that beep? Yeah. It, right now it's at like a constant 66 and it just dropped to like a 59 and beeped. That was weird. Mm. Yeah, let's go put up, uh, let's put the other motion detector in the kitchen because we had some activity out here. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe facing towards the phone? I think, yeah. Like, something like this? The phone would be a good idea. Yeah. So let's cut this guy on. I mean, look, it's not doing anything right now. Mm -hmm. But if something passes... Set my guy down. That's great. And what's also nice is that... If we'll have... set a camera set up. Yeah, we're gonna set up... sitting there combing the footage for three hours. Yeah. You can see if that thing went off, and it'll tell us, like... Oh yeah, we're gonna have a static camera on this whole vicinity right here. On that, we're gonna have one over here. Let's put a REM pod in this red room. Okay. Maybe like right on the table. So if anything comes near that, that thing should not be lighting up at all on its own. And then let's put a, let's put the other one like top of the stairs hallway somewhere. Yeah, so I say we put the other one like maybe in front of this bathroom, like right here. That's a good idea. All right? Cause this door was giving us some fucky, and this room just feels trippy. Dude. Yeah, this room was cold as hell. Hard to breathe up here, man. Cool. Something up here just making me feel like tight in the chest, like I'm, my eyes are already. What did that say? Nine? Four? Why does it give me numbers now? Nine, four, seven? Nine, four, seven, nine. That's mag magnitude? Maybe? What the fuck is that? That was a REM pod, bro. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It seemed like the REM pod downstairs was getting a lot of activity. It beeped a couple times while we were upstairs, so we decided that we would go down and kind of hang out in that room for a little while and ask some questions and see if we could get responses on the REM pod. I'm getting numbers now. Hey, dude. What? Yeah, the REM pod is going off. We gotta set up statics, like ASAP. Yeah, let's put statics on the rim pods. All right, let's go grab them. Let's get it. Look, it's still, I think it's showing, it down. I think it's showing us the last. Did you just hear that? What? You hear a shh. Look, it's still, I think it's Get showing. I think he's showing us the last. Did you just hear that? What? Look, it's still. I think it's showing. Yeah, it down. I think he's showing us the last. Did you just hear that? What? Do you hear a shh? Uh uh. Sound like something slid across. Shut my back down. I don't know. This thing's going nuts over here too. I'm gonna turn this thing off. If you're here, can you just come close to this REM pod right now? 
It's not here to hurt you. It's just a, it's just a toy. It'll make noise if you get close to it to let us know that you're present. You did it before, can you do it again? No one here is gonna hurt you. We gotta grab static cameras. Well, hang on, hang on. Before we grab a static cameras, why don't we just sit in here and watch this for a second? Why don't you sit right there? I'll sit right here. Let's ask a couple questions, see if we get something come close. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. If you're the one that rang the phone earlier, can you come close to this device in here with us? Can you approach the table? Sorry we left in such a hurry. That was quick. So you did ring the phone. Can you get closer to the device? Oh. That's trippy, bro. It's not giving it a whole lot of lights, but it's... It's something. Can you make the lights do something? Can you illuminate any one of those? All you have to do is get closer to the device. It'll light it up. It'd be awesome to be able to communicate with you directly instead of just having you play with us while we're running around and have us running up and down the stairs, answering the phone, just being out to talk. The most frustrating part about doing this is in an instant, almost all of it started to dissipate and the activity began to die down. We did get a couple of responses while we were in that room, but then after that, it just seemed like no matter what devices we were trying to use, nothing was getting activity for a few hours. We don't sleep in all the places that we investigate, but this one, we decided we were gonna set up some static cameras and get a couple hours of sleep before the sun came up. Once we feel like the activity is running out and we're not really getting any more responses, I'm pretty much ready to fall asleep the second that my eyes close. This was like days and days and days on the road of us uh, being at location after location. I'll literally have bags under my eyes from the amount of places we've been and the amount of traveling we've been doing. And um, I passed out pretty quick. Seems like it's kind of died down a lot, you know? Dude, it's like night and day. It's completely different than it was when we walked out. Maybe we should just try to get a couple hours of shut out here. I don't know how much sleep I'm gonna be able to get, but. Yeah, um, I mean, same. But even if it's like an hour before the sun comes up, that'd be dope. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, let's get a stand. All right, yeah, let's hurry up and do that. All night I'm having weird dreams, I'm having weird thoughts, I'm experiencing interactions with people that I feel like I know that I've never met before in my dreams. And then I'm jolted awake by a loud chime coming from the motion detector.
That's a shit again. Walking through a haunted location alone at night is one of the most unsettling feelings that you can possibly imagine. I even looked in Casey's room and I saw that he was knocked out. As I approach the bottom of the steps, I shit you not, I see a shadow walk past the upstairs window. Who or what, I do not know. Something moving upstairs. When I was sleeping, I remember having um, these like really, really vivid, weird dreams. I usually can remember my dreams pretty well. I'm not one of those type of people that wakes up and says I never had a dream. When we were in this location, I had the most vivid dream and it was so strange. It was like me sitting in a dark room, all these kids sitting around me, hugging their knees, just sitting on the floor staring at me. It was a weird, weird feeling. I don't really know how to portray it to you guys through camera or telling you, but I remember when I was having that dream, my heart was pounding and Colton actually woke me up and he said uh, he saw something weird. sensors go off and then I heard the REM pod and then I look up the stairs as soon as I did that. Did you see something? Dude, I saw literally like it just looked like a figure pass in front of the light. Dude, I did too. I was shook up. I swear to God, I was in the middle of a dream that I hear the sensor go, tell my titong. And then it just led me down here like I was doing earlier. Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. I don't know if whatever activity in this house was possibly inducing our dreams, like making us see things in our dreams that was weird. He said he had some trippy stuff going on when he fell asleep too. I don't know, man. It's fucking- Shut up, Dude, right in front of that fucking window. Shut up, Shut up, I think I heard it a little bit uh, when you woke me up. It sounded like it was beeping. Dude, I don't know what the hell's going on. Right in front of this window. It was like fucking 10 feet tall. Like this right here? The whole window. Something could just move between that spotlight outside and the outside window causing that shadow. Well, either something was outside or something walked in front of it or something. Well, nothing should be out of this window because this is the... Well, it's like the third floor from how tall these stairs are. I don't know, maybe like a giant owl or something? Could be. I hate this, dude. I'm not, I hate being woken up like this. 
Well, I think daylight's approaching right now. What time is it? Looks like there's some sun coming. Bro, you gotta see what I just caught on this camera. I yeah. got the very last edge of it, I think. I'm not it. sure. Yeah, let me see what you got. Bro, check this out. When I saw what Colton had captured on his camera, I could clearly see a black figure. It looked like it was passing one of the upstairs windows. Part of me was so happy that he actually captured that when he was filming. And then the other part of me was absolutely horrified because I was like, who's in the house with us right now? And um, it's just one of those things that you can't explain. We've captured many things over the years that are unexplainable. And we know that there's people out there who try to dedicate their time to debunking us and proving that all this stuff is fake. But when you're there in person and you're experiencing this kind of stuff, um, it doesn't matter what anybody says. We've been to some of the most intense places we've ever been this season. And I can tell you that every single place is like, a, it's the snowflake argument. Every single place is individual. Every single place has its own thing. You can't say this was like this or that was like that because they all have their own details that separate themselves from one another. We know what's real, we know what's not. And when we capture stuff like this, um, it's an incredible feeling, to say the least. So you're probably wondering what to expect now that season five has ended. Well, we have a few never before seen bonus investigations that we'll be releasing during the month of October alongside another thrilling October marathon. After that, season six is going to be one of the most epic seasons that we've ever filmed. It's really going to take us a ton of effort and preparation as the whole thing will be based in Japan. Yes, you heard me correct. Hunting Purgatory is in the process of going international from season to season. So in advance, I thank you for your patience and your understanding. Expect season six to come later this year or early 2024. However, during our much needed time at home with our families and off the road, I will still be creating content that I enjoy creating. After all, I am a content creator and I'm not going to lie, it's nice to be able to film stuff and have a little fun while I'm at home and not packing up hundreds of pounds of camera equipment and gear for months and weeks at a time. Okay? Okay. So if you like hanging out with me when there's no new paranormal investigations, make sure to check out Mind CTV Let's Play. Follow me over there. I'll be uploading in between seasons over there constantly. Thanks again, and here is the season five tribute. Enjoy.
thank every single one of you viewers. This is completely unscripted. It's from the bottom of my heart when I say, those of you that come back week after week and season after season, and you followed us for these, these years of investigations that we've been doing, you are the ones that have truly made it worth it. Yes, it is a job for us. Yes, it's how we buy groceries. It's how we pay our bills, but it's also a passion that we have. And I know some of you feel the exact same way about paranormal investigation and finding evidence of the unknown as we do. I also want to say thank you because especially this past season, I have grown so much personally. I've learned to believe in myself as a content creator. I've learned to believe in myself as an artist and a creative person. I struggle sometimes with imposter syndrome just like everyone else does. And those of you that have been here this entire time, I have no way I can ever repay you besides continuing to produce content that you're interested in, that entertains you, that brings a smile to your face, that breaks the monotony of the daily struggles of life. And I promise you that Casey and I have a lot of surprises and a lot of really awesome things coming up. And it's all for you guys. Also, thank you to everybody that has followed me over to what was Colton MSTV. I recently changed the name of it to America's Scariest Home Videos because I'm a 90s kid and I cannot believe the name wasn't taken. I am carrying over my passion for the paranormal and I'm doing that in the form of compilation style videos, top fives. During the short break between seasons, we're gonna be still producing investigations. We have a couple special ones lined up for the summer before we end up going to Japan. But once next season starts, it's gonna be the best episodes, the best hunting purgatory, the best mind seed TV that you have ever witnessed. Thanks so much. See you next time.